Yeah. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I gotta say, it has been amazing to see the runaway success of your game. What's it been like for you? Ah, oh, it's been immense. I mean, really, the reaction we've got from players and content creators has been tremendous, and I want to say thank you to everyone for that. Uh, it's been great. And thank you for the experiences, both of the joy of winning and the, well, I guess the joy of a bullet flying through my head out of nowhere, and I'll yeah. never know why. You've got to learn to love the salt. Love it. <laughs> Well, I understand that even though a lot of people uh, treat the game almost as a full release right now, yeah. it's still technically not released yet, and there's a whole lot more to come. Talk to us a little bit about what's in store. So we have, uh, we're, our focus at the moment is to sort of stabilize the game, get the servers up to spec, but also we have, uh, you know, 2D, 3D replays planned for in-game replays. Uh, we have new weapons coming every month. Uh, oh. <laughs> So yeah, no, uh, but our current focus is really just get the game competitive and stable. So suddenly fences are no longer the most impossible object in the game. You can right. climb over them. Yeah, now. yeah. So our content program, programmer, Marek, he's done a really great job getting this system to be dynamic. So it doesn't matter what object you're in front of, you'll jump oh, or really? vault over it. Yeah, yeah, so in terms of jumping and vaulting, is it... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, vaulting. Is it, is it sort of, when you say that it's dynamic, does this mean that the taller the obstacle, the more difficult it is to climb over? Yeah, exactly, and it has it? different animations for each different thing, so vaulting, climbing. Now, oh. we also have weather, so. One of my favorite aspects, of course, is the rain map in the game. Walk me through what we're seeing here. So this is our new weather settings. This is fog. You just saw a clear day. Um, our rain has been tweaked a little bit as well. And we also have our sunset coming in. So this really, I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's, That's it's beautiful. quite beautiful. Yeah. And what, what is the impact on gameplay of these types of things with weather? It just changed dynamic. Oh, so this is... Oh, a new gun. Yes. This is the OTS uh, Groza. It's a 7.62 bullpup, super powerful, crate only. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a beast. Is it, is it a short range, long range? Where's medium to medium, Short to medium, it's going to be a beast. It's going to be super powerful. Yeah. And then long range, it'll work as well. And I remember before you came on the show, I, I asked, why did you put that gun in? And I think your answer was... It just looks cool. It it's, looks cool. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's <laughs> like we wanted to add a bullpup and we wanted to add something else to the 7.62 class. And this is a Spetsnaz weapon. It's, yeah, it just looks great. It looks cool. As good as a reason as any, honestly. I want to come back to the weather effects. Obviously, they look beautiful. What are some of the impacts that you've seen on the gameplay with the new weather effects? Well, it's just going to change the way you play. So it's not necessarily yeah. going to be, you're going to be sniping all the time. You know, with the foggy weather, you're going to have to choose a more kind of CVQ type uh, play style. But it's just, again, to give you a bit of variety and make every game kind of different. You've talked a little bit about what we've seen in the video, but talk to me about long term. What's far down the line for Player Unknown's Battlegrounds? So again, uh, we want to finish out the, the, the platform and make it a good platform for all kind right. of game modes. You know, we will have modding down the line as well. Um, yeah, and, and it's, it's, again, it's just creating a stable platform. That's our yeah. aim here. I understand that you're also working on new maps. Yeah, so we have two new maps coming, uh, one based in Peru, a desert map with uh, sort of ruined cities uh, with sandstorms and stuff. That's awesome. Yeah, and then this other one in the Adriatic, so it has even a, a ruined cosmodrome in the center of the map with like snowfall, and it's, yeah, it's, I'm excited. That's awesome. Yeah. And I know that you've been super involved with the community of regular players. What's in store for those people playing the game right now? So as I said, we have our custom games. Um, we have the 3D replays, which I'm really excited about because it allows you to watch your match back in the engine with a free cam and slow motion and stuff which like that. Which is great that. for so content creators. Exactly, yeah. right? So you can content just... Content creators, yeah. Yeah, and, and it, yeah. <laughs> it'll just give you a new way to create like machinimas and stuff like that within the game. Yeah. And the last thing I want to bring up, because you were mentioning this a lot before you came on, you have all sorts of stability and performance fixes incoming. Yeah, so like our focus this month is on our save server performance and really getting that stable because at the moment the servers aren't performing the best they could. Uh, but, you know, so <laughs> last month our team's focus was on client performance and we improved that yeah. broadly for a lot of people. And this month it's on server. So they've already found a lot of things to, to fix and I'm excited. That's great. I'm sure players will completely stop blaming anything on the game at that point. Right. They yeah. will accept responsibility <laughs> for those losses then. <laughs> Well, to player unknown himself, Brendan, thank you so much for coming out thank to you talk so much, about Jeff. it. It's a pleasure. Thank you, everyone. As we get ourselves set up for the, the next game, we're going to head to the mezzanine with Sonia for a little bit.